Hi everyone, welcome back to Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube channel. Today I have another Christmas bow for you. We're going to be making a reindeer bow. So for this one, you'll need your favourite template in whichever size you want. And I have also got these antler templates. If you look around at most bow supply sellers um, who, do, who do templates, you'll, you should find antler templates this time of year. So there's four different ones, four different shapes. You can see those there. So this one, um, this sort of goes in the middle of it. So you can double it up. And this one, this goes in the middle of. And what you would do with that is draw around it one way, flip it over and draw it around it the other way. And then that'll give you two sides of your antlers. I'm just going to use one part of the antler. What you could do with this is do one part in one shade and the middle part in another shade, stick them together for a little bit better quality. This will also make it more sturdy if your fabric that you're using isn't uh, stiff enough. So I'm going to be using my large templates today and I have used this shape for the antler. You can see it there. So just pop those ones to one side. Um, you can do it in the smaller as well. These antlers will fit small and large bows. So the fabrics I'm using today, I have got a um, sort of a velvety material in brown. You could also use brown glitter, suede, anything like that. And what I've done is I have drawn around it with the middle part of my bow template. So here's the top part. We're not using that one today. You could double up if you like, but for this design, I don't. So I've drawn around that onto this. Now for darker shades of fabric, I use a gold Sharpie. Then I have got this sort of dark gold and I've drawn the antlers on there. So as you can see, I'm gearing up to make quite a few of these bows. So I have drawn them that way. And then I have also flipped it over and drawn them that way. So I have antlers, there's enough in here to make five bows, but today I'm just gonna make one. And then I have a yellow gold, which I've drawn the bottom template the tails on there. Now this um, fabric felt you can get from Pixie Dot Bow Supplies. It is a stiff fabric felt uh, with glitter, fine glitter on top. I think I used some black glitter uh, fabric felt in the Halloween video that I did um, with the cat bow. This is perfect for bases um, because it keeps them straight and it's also perfect for antlers because it's nice and stiff and it's not floppy at all. Perfect for antlers, but obviously the main part of the bow I'm using, you see the stiffness. This stays straight no matter how you hold it, whereas this fabric's just floppy. Can't get that to stay straight no matter what. So that's the difference. Use a stiffer fabric for um, the antlers so that they will stay up straight and a good tip is if you do get the templates with the double parts that will help stiffen up your fabric too. Okay so first of all what I need to do is cut out um, these shapes so I'm just going to cut one of that direction and one of that direction and we can put the others to the side. What you'll also need, didn't have in view there, is a small circle of red chunky glitter or anything sparkly. This is going to represent 
Rudolph's nose. I just use some scraps of reds um, where I've always use your off cuts. Don't throw them away unless they're really scrappy bits and you can't use anything, can't use them for anything. Um, if I've got a piece set like that left over, I'll keep that in a scrap drawer because you can always cut a circle, cut an antler, anything like that from it. So always keep your scraps. Um, so I'm going to use one of these red circles at the end for Rudolph's nose. So I'll keep those to one side. So yep, yeah, I'm going to cut one of these off too because I'm going to need one of these. So they are the pieces I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and then we'll get on to the next part. Okay, so now all the pieces are cut out, what I'm going to do is this piece that I cut off is going to go in my scrap drawer, may be able to use that for something. This piece I am going to cut a strip for the middle from that, so I'll just keep that to one side. Um, also forgot to mention, this fabric, the velvet, brown velvet, is from Mama's Bow Fabrics. I'll pop a link in the description. Like I say, this um, fabric felt a stiff one is available from Pixie Dot Bow Supplies. So I will pop a link to that in the description too. And the templates, you can get those from loads of different suppliers. Not sure if Pixie Dot has the antlers, but I'm sure you will be able to find them somewhere. So really simple. We're just gonna stick all the bits together. So first of all, I'm gonna make the main part of the bow. This brown fabric, when you cut it, also sheds a little bit on the edges. Makes your nose itch, so just be careful with that. And then I'm going to stick it to the bottom. And these are really simple, quick, easy and cheap-ish, depending on what materials you use to make. The main part is the fiddly bit cutting out the antlers, unless you have a circuit machine. And then what we do is I will glue the antlers inside there. Just need to decide if we want them that way around or that way around. We do it the other way. So we pop a little bit of glue on the end on the back and it goes I don't know if you can see this in here inside the loop but it will also stick to the back in there so I like that and push it down so it's stuck to the loop down here if you can get the light in right but it's also stuck to the back in, so it holds the loop to the back in as well. <clears throat> Try and get it even with the other side. And that's right. 
Then I'm going to use a 65 mil alligator clip for the back. This template is a four and a half inch bow, by the way. A smaller one's a three and a half inch bow, and I will use a 45 mil alligator clip on the smaller ones. All right, so now we're just gonna cut a piece to go around the middle, usually around a centimeter wide. I'm going to cut that end bit off and put the rest in my scrap drawer. And then lift the clip and glue inside. Cut the excess off. And glue that down. I could leave it like that as just a reindeer bow, but it looks very plain. Bit of glue off my finger. And then what I will do is grab one of the Rudolph noses and pop it in the centre. Now I'm just round that off a little bit more. We can use a coin or something small to get the shape, but I just, I freehanded these, so it's a little bit misshapen on that side. So there we go, it's better. And then we'll just pop some glue on the back of that. And pop it in the middle of the bow and there we have a Rudolf, Rudolf bow with antlers you can see there sorry about the lighting I'm trying to use some natural light in here during the daytime the camera doesn't seem to pick it up too good there we go to add a little bit more luxury to this, like I say, you can um, put another layer inside there, maybe in a different shade of gold, maybe using this um, fabric felt, that's the back by the way, maybe using the fabric felt as a base to make it stiff and then use a chunky glitter inside, although that would be quite hard to cut out such intricate details. It's a smaller, uh, the inside is obviously a little bit smaller. Um, you could add the top layer on this and then put the nose on. And you could also use a red pom-pom in the middle for the nose. But I like how it works out with the glittery, glittery red nose. So there we go. There is the Rudolph bow, reindeer bow. And like I say, I am going to make some smaller ones. I will um, post in my Facebook group, put a link to that in the description. Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube on Facebook. It is a group um, full of bow makers and we share ideas, photographs, ask questions, request tutorials, anything like that. If you want to join, I'll pop a link in the description box or you can search Facebook, Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube. I'll pop some photos of my finished bows when I've um, done the other four. I think I've got two more big ones and two little ones to make. And these sold really well last year, very, very popular. So if you want to go ahead and make some of these, pop over to my group, share what you've made when you've done it. Hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe if you're not already, because I will be posting more Christmas bow inspiration uh, throughout the week. Um, I think I've got some, some more reindeer ones. I'm gonna try and do a snowman. We've got Santa, we've got um, penguins, all sorts coming up. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Like and comment if you can. It really, really helps the channel out. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much.
Bye.